the interlinked in are built around the AI and ML. So AR, VR, AI, AI, ML, blockchain, pati pesano. Blockchain in the it gives you this decentralization effect. Decentralization. D. Uh, any issues in seeing my screen, guys? I see some somebody messaging that uh, they were not able to see my screen. Is my screen uh, visible to everybody? Are they able to see my screen? Blockchain pati pesano. Blockchain in the right. So metaverse is decentralization on the right effect. side. On decentralization. Right side, we have the core component AR VR. D then. Uh, any issues in seeing senses, my screen, guys? I see some AR, somebody messaging that, that uh, they were unable to see my screen. Uh, is my screen uh, visible to everybody? Are you they able to see my screen? Any interaction in the blockchain pati personal. Uh, blockchain in the right. So it metaverse is decentralization. On the right side, uh, decentralization. Uh, right side, we have the core component right, uh, AR VR. Uh, D then so all those. Uh, uh, any issues in seeing my screen, guys? I see some AR, somebody messaging that uh, they were unable to see my screen. Is my screen visible to everybody? Are they able to see my screen? Any interaction is in blockchain per the person. Blockchain in another, right? So metaverse is decentralization. On the right side, decentralization. We have the core component and AR VR. D. Then all those no any issues in seeing my screen, guys? I see some somebody messaging that they were unable to see the screen. Your debit card, right? What happens? You enter your debit card. You okay? Before I go there, see, guys, are wearing Hololens. I'm not sure if you noticed it. I'm wearing HoloLens and able to see things virtually. I'm able to move things around. So I'm on HoloLens. This is called HoloLens. Yeah, this uh, device is from Microsoft. Yeah, I can't wear for too long. I'll wear for another five minutes and let it go. Okay. So in any case, so blockchain, if uh, I'm going to remove it now, okay, not that I mentioned it. See, this HoloLens comes in a nice box like this. It comes in a nice box, this, and it goes in there. So this HoloLens is nothing but a computer. It's nothing but a computer. Um, the way you saw the um, batch computers, the workstations, and PCs is just a computer. It has all the elements of a computer in terms of CPU, GPU, display, and everything. Along with it, it has gestures, gesture control. Instead of using a mouse and a keyboard to do things, now you could use your hand, move it around, you see content in front of you. So it is a different level of interactivity. Do you remember the first slide I showed you? Interactivity. This is on the far right of the interactivity, immersive. And you can use voice. The interaction comes through voice. You can do voice commands. You could use your gestures. You could type virtually. And you can see the content in front of you in 3D. So that's HoloLens, MR. OK, come back, coming back to the blockchain. Yeah, coming back to the blockchain. We talked about AR, VR. I just showed you device. Everything has AI uh, built inside, both inside the device, which is a computer vision. Also, if you use it in a also, when you use it as a large application, there's an AI built inside. Blockchain, right? So as I mentioned earlier, when you pay for your Swiggy uh, using a debit card, right? you enter the debit card, uh, and what happens is the bank keeps a record, a ledger, keeps a ledger of your uh, transaction, and that transaction, you no know, bank takes that uh, payment from your account and sends the payment to Swiggy through various gateways, payment gateways. So once money goes from your account, once you say send, you really don't know what happens, right? You really don't know what happens. It might hit multiple gateways and each gateway uh, will probably take some amount of commission. And when it lands in, and only you know that money has been paid when you know that it's been paid to Swiggy and when the money is directed from your account, otherwise you don't know what is happening. That is very centralized. There's no visibility to what you're doing. The blockchain, by having a distributed computers along the way, it keeps a record of your transaction, segmented a record of your transaction along the way, so that one, it is very secure, plus you get to see a visibility of how your trans transaction is moving from 
one computer to the other computer in a decentralized way to the final uh, destination, which is Swiggy, right? So that decentralization through a distributed computer is called blockchain, yeah? Now comes your internet of things. That's on the other things. Why is IoT used? IoT pr provides only one thing. It provides a, 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 a sensory surface on physical object so that the physical object can transmit data to an internet system, right? That's what typically uh, uh, internet IoT means, right? It could be a machine. It could be even this uh, device where it has a lot of cameras. It has 3D scanner, gesture sensors. There's all those sensors that collects data continuously from physical object. Physical object could be human being, could be machines, and send that data uh, to the internet system into the metaverse. That's called, that is the usage of IoT. So that's what is being used right now, IoT. In the current Web 2.0 system, the same thing holds good for the uh, Web 3.0, which is the metaverse system, right? That's what the Internet of Things mean. Now comes your tokens and NFTs, as I said earlier. In a physical object, right, when you buy things, it could be a simple phone or it could be a car or it could be a house. The level of contract, level of building that happens during every purchase is different. When you're buying a house, when you're buying a car, there's a lot more paperwork where it establishes who is the manufacturer, who is the current owner, who is the financier for this account. All those data gets, uh, gets uh, uh, recorded into the agreement. If you're buying a simple object, uh, it could be you know, uh, a pen uh, in front of me you have a simple bill, you have a very simple bill, right? That kind of uh, smart contract, a contract that establishes the authenticity of the product, the uniqueness of the product, along with the commercial terms, which is the price, the cost and the price, along with who is the buyer, who is the seller, and how many of these products exist that are recorded in the smart contract. And that's what goes into the tokens and NFTs. NFTs, I say, stands for non-fungible tokens, right? That's what this uh, means. So this is a very critical part, right? Then comes your internet and cloud. So it's the same technology that we have right now, right? Uh, the internet is the backbone, which takes data from one point to the other point through various IP protocol. And for you to not have to have data stored locally, and you have cloud that sort of sends data through edge computing and cloud computing that still also exist, right? That's a very critical part of the current system. That's what would exist uh, moving forward for the uh, metaverse system. But the last component is the gaming engine. See, um, a gaming engine like um, the Unity, which we're going to teach in this course along with Unreal, they are the building blocks, right? A typical AR, VR application has two big components, right? One is your 3D assets. Uh, 3D assets and 3D assets are developed by 3D software. It, it could be a blender, uh, which we're going to teach, which is an open source software. And it also has Maya based uh, tools that can be used with the 3D design. That asset or the 3D design get, that gets developed needs to be uh, given that uh, uh, control and various functionalities, um, and the gameplay and things like that. Game engine doesn't mean it's only for game. Game engine is used for any AR, VR application that requires interactivity. It could be medical application, manufacturing application, could be all these applications. So a gaming engine is a pretty critical part of it. And that's what it means by the gaming engine. All those components, which is the AR, VR component delivered through the various devices, along with the AI and ML built inside these devices, also outside in terms of the utility along with the decentralization, which is the blockchain, combined with IoT and NFTs and the internets, all come together as the metaverse ecosystem.
right? So the keywords we see at the bottom or the smart contract, which I talked, to, which I did talk to uh, uh, just a few seconds back, smart contracts are nothing but the digital assets, which are the tokens and NFTs that establish what is the uniqueness of the product, who is a buyer, who is a seller, all in the digital space um, uh, that gets carried away from as the product NFT or the token moves from one computer to the other computer, right? In the distributed uh, network called blockchain, that's smart contract. And blockchain, we talked about, we talked about NFT. Uh, D apps is nothing but uh, uh, decentralized apps. And we talked about cryptocurrencies. The key important cryptocurrencies that's there in the market now are the Ethereum and the Bitcoins, right? Uh, India has accepted them as the uh, a legal uh, way of doing transactions in India. Of course, they have come with a legal framework for taxation, which is 30% equivalent to any uh, uh, gaming or, uh, um, or, or, or any uh, gambling profits that you make, right? So that's, that's what it is. And there's one key component called digital twin, right? That I want to talk about uh, in the next slide, but let me give you a quick thing. Digital twins are nothing but a digital replica of a physical device. For example, if I build a 3D model of this HoloLens, right? Uh, HoloLens that becomes the uh, 3D replica. But if I add also the functionality, functionality of this HoloLens in the digital world, then it becomes the it becomes the digital twin. That that means two things. One, it is a 3D model which is a replica in the digital world that looks exactly like the physical object to the functionality of functionality of that physical object, whatever it does. For example, if phone does a bunch of applications, right? A bunch of things it can do. The same thing if it can then be done on the physical on the digital world, then it becomes a digital world. 3D replica, physical attribute being same, also the functionality of that object also being seen. That is the digital twin, right? Now, on the right side, so you might uh, wonder uh, if, uh, you know, why would this new technology metaverse could be such a large market? I mentioned 18 to $13 trillion in the next seven years with 23 million jobs, right? How could that be? That doesn't mean that, you know, suddenly in three years, everybody will be going around wearing AR, VR glasses? No. That's not the case, right? If you look at any technology progression, as we progress from a PC computing to a mobile computing, we didn't let go everything that happened in the PC. See, currently, the internet is consumed on mobile devices close to 80%. Only 20% of people, the internet is being accessed by the PC. Otherwise, it is the phone, right? But the content exists both on the PC and smartphone. That is a progression over the years when people have moved from PC computing to smartphone computing. Same way, as you move along the metaverse, as you move along the AR, VR, as you move along the Web 3.0, right? You would still use PCs, the legacy gateways. The legacy gateways are our smartphones and PC. You could still access metaverse. The only difference is if you use the legacy gateways like phones and laptops, you will not see the 3D element of it. You will not see the AI, the v, I mean, you will not see the VR element of it, right? You will not see that. But still, you could do many things uh, in the metaverse using the legacy gateways, which is the phones and the laptops. The, the, the All the... Uh, blockchains, NFTs are still enabled in the gateways. And as we move along from legacy gateway to AR and VR, the level of immersion as to, when you say level of immersion, how close, how, how close to the real world you feel about the experience you're having in the, in the, in the digital world. That has been the immersion, right? In PC and gateway, it'll be 2D. AR, it is 3D, but you still, I'll, I'll explain it at AR, VR means soon, but that is the level of things. So all these things combined together will make up the metaverse ecosystem that will make up this $13 trillion in the next seven years, right? That makes the metaverse. So people will start using metaverse 
um, in the legacy gateways, then they will move to AR as more devices become accessible, they'll move to VR. All will coexist. Then gradually, the percentage of people using accessing metaverse in uh, legacy gateways will reduce. All those things will increase. Then in the next, say, six years, five years, you will see only 10% using phones and laptops to use to access metaverse, whereas AR, VR devices becomes the predominant uh, medium or the channel through which uh, people access metaverse. Yeah? Now that I introduced the word digital twin, I want to show a video how digital twin is used. So this digital twin is nothing but a digital twin of a factory that we have built in 3D and apply the functionality into the factory so that a employee who before joining that particular industry, before he can actually go into the virtual world, get himself trained, get skilled before he goes to the actual world. Yeah. So I'm going to play this video now. Yes, so that's what uh, digital twin means. You're building a 3D model of the factory. Uh, then that that 3D model was built using 3D software like the Blender and Maya. Then we built all the interactivity, giving functionality to the uh, factory using the game engine. The game engine is Unity or Unreal. Then we took that and built the software, did the build on, in this case, STC Vive, which is a VR device. So there's three components, 3D model build texturing, then going into the Unity game engine development and building the whole thing on a SDK uh, delivered by Oculus, right? All those three combined gives you the digital twin, yes? Now, let me introduce a uh, new term, right? So we, I'd use a word called AR. I use a word called VR. Then I use a word called MR. This AR, VR, MR. AR stands for augmented reality. VR stands for virtual reality. MR stands for mixed reality. All those things combined, people also call it as extended reality. That means XR. Uh, in short, right? So right now you have devices that does only AR, there are devices that does only VR. In the future, we'll have one device called XR device that can uh, uh, deliver all the different modes. Yes. Now I did talk about uh, and uh, immersive experience, right? I said that uh, 
uh, immersive experiences uh, are delivered by AR and VR. Now, what are these immersive experiences? People use the word immersive very uh, loosely also, right? So any digital uh, experiences, digital experiences is like the movie or the con or the web content or the web video or the e-learning content. If that experiences becomes close to imitating a physical world, right? Through touch and uh, visual immersiveness and sight and smell and feel, right? That's the immersive uh, nature, right? So that means the digital experience you feel is very close to the physical world, right? So you would have seen 70 um, centers if you travel abroad where you put a, a screen in front of you, things move on, there's a smoke hits on you, you know, there's a smell and things like that. So all they're trying to do is when you're experiencing things visually, right? Whatever is the other uh, uh, extended human experiences, the touch and sight and smell, if they become very close to the real world, then you get this experience that is, uh, you feel actually you are there in the physical world and interacting. That was, that what, that's what immersive technology means and that what ARVR delivers right now. So right now we have a very uh, a pretty uh, realistic visual uh, immersiveness, uh, but uh, Touch is getting a lot more better. Uh, before it was all uncontrolled, now using your hands. Now you have aptic gloves through which you could uh, get a feel of the uh, uh, object that you are experiencing visually, right? And uh, the sight and smell are a little more um, uh, captive experiences that are more part of the experience centers. I'm not sure, you know, sight and smell is going to be that important for a consumer experience, right? But put together, that's what immersive experiences mean, yeah? So now that we got introduced to three important technology, right? We talked about virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality, all combined together, called as XR, extended technology, or the immersive technology. That's what it means. Right. So before we go a little deep into the uh, various technologies, just giving you an idea, right? Giving you an idea that, uh, uh, you know, that is, uh, once again, yeah. So, so there are a lot of companies, right? So, so for us, for any technology to mature, any technology to get adopted at a large scale, it takes quite a number of years. It takes good, uh, 13, 14 years to mature. For example, the smartphone, when it was introduced uh, 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 in the uh, 92, 93, the phone, not even a smartphone, a phone, right? It was such a big, big, heavy brick that you need a suitcase to carry the smartphone. From there, 93 to now, which is 2022, almost 29 years. Yeah, yeah, nine, 20, 29, 30 years. And we are right now with a six inches, seven inch uh, foldable smartphone where you could touch with has, uh, 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 you know, with the multiple cameras, with the 3D scanner built inside, with the, you know, LIDAR camera built inside where I can scan things. You know, it took 25 years of evolution, right? So same way, uh, immersive metaverse is happening now, but it's not going to take 20 years because all the components, all the companies that are in the, in the metaverse are the same companies who have evolved from the PC industry to the smartphone industry. So all the learnings, all the building blocks or other other building blocks required for the uh, immersive devices minus the display. So if you look at it, there are many companies investing, right? Uh, Facebook uh, as, uh, no, this is not 50. So they have invested um, billions of dollars into that, right? And uh, see the Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, uh, Facebook bought uh, Oculus uh, company for it to sell the Oculus devices. They bought it some six or eight years back for $3 billion, $3 billion right? Uh, a billion dollar 
is 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 close to eight thousand dollar uh eight thousand crores right now if you look at microsoft see so I, the, the same devices that i wore now right these devices that i, I wore right now so this device now the entire u.s military the u.s army right especially the u.s army so every uh, you know every military goes through a lot of training so they train and train and train to make sure they're ready for the actual uh, warfare actual uh, uh, work the real world whether it's a border security or peacekeeping or whatnot so that's what the military trains for right now uh, the entire us army uses the same device this hollow lens uh, they bought close to 1.2 lakh units of this hollow lens to train the military that's close to a 22 billion dollars worth of business 1 billion is uh, 8000 crores so it's 8000 16000 close to uh, boy there's a, there's a lot of number right so uh, 6000 60000 uh, uh, 160 almost 200000 crores of uh, hollow lens equal into 1.2 lakhs unit was bought by by the US army to use these devices for training. Same way, every company is launching, every company that is involved in computing, whether it's a software company or it's a hardware company or a chip company, Qualcomm, Intel, AMD, um, NVIDIA, uh, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, HP, Dell, everybody is investing millions and billions of dollars to build this ecosystem because AR, VR is the only use model right that would need this fancy smartphone see now we have uh, india has launched 5g recently geo launched 5g recently right the reason why you need 5g why you need 6g in the future is because of ar vr it is not meant to just to watch video because ar vr has a requirement for real time 3d rendering the amount of data that you need to process uh, in the AR VR world is huge. Hence, you need this uh, gigabit internet, right? That's why you need for 5G. So everybody's working on it because this is the future. This is how the internet is going to be in the future. And hence, they have to invest. And scaling, uh, skill force to do the development is very, very critical. And India, especially Tamil Nadu, doesn't want to lose this battle, doesn't want to lose the edge because we were in the forefront, Tamil Nadu was in the forefront of the IT revolution, right? You, in the 90s, in the 2000s, you see IT, comp IT institutes opened up everywhere. And if you go to US, I lived in the US for 18 years. Anywhere in the US, every Indian, you see at least one among 10 uh, uh, person is definitely a South Indian or, or, or a Tamilian, right? So 30, 40% is Tamilian because of our 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 investment that we did in the 90s in the IT to learn. The same thing is getting repeated now. So IT boomed in Tamil Nadu in the 90s. That's how it improved the economy. It improved the economy of the state, of the district, of the county, of the individual homes. Same way, the same thing is, is just getting repeated from the PC computing that required a lot of uh, IT software now we are entering the immersive computing that requires a lot of people who know AR VR development, right? That's why we are here. That's why I'm here today to talk about this. So only today I'm going to teach. Uh, so starting tomorrow, the next four days, we're going to go deep dive. The next two days is going to be on Blender, which is a 3D tool. The last two days is going to be on Unity. So I'm not going to talk about today's. I want to set the stage. I want to talk about the technology. I want to talk about the use cases, why we are here, what are we going to learn, set the contest, get the energy up and going, right? So that's why I, I want to make sure we're doing live classes, not just put some video out there, right? So I wanted to have a personal touch. So I insisted that it, my first day of class has to be a live stream. So of course, along with it, we are all going to uh, meet you guys face to face. I cannot come to all the colleges. That's why I want to take a chance that for every online class, the first three, four hour class, I want to deliver personally. I want to have that personal touch because 
guys nambunga it is a huge opportunity right it's a huge opportunity in front of us and i need to make sure you need to make sure we all need to make sure that we are ready to ride this wave we are ready to ride this wave adukku mande first and foremost namma enna kattukano ar vr enna kattukano metaverse enna kattukano once adu purinjichuna yen edhukku use pandrom adu enna use avudhu enna building blocks appo it's matter of understanding the nuts and bolts adu we will teach you but it is fun because or or kutti secret solra right uh, 70% or 80% or 90% of what you learn in AR VR it is the same technology that's used for gaming also right so if you want to be a gamer if you want to do a gaming design all the things that we learn we we'll learn in AR VR is also going to be used to that that means at the end of the course the students can be a AR VR developer AR VR architect they can be a digital twin engineer also they can be a gaming designers gaming developers yeah i know everybody every student of uh, you know was logged in as spends good amount of time in game uh, playing games so i'm sure a lot of aspirations to be a game developer also so great so this is the day guys this is the time okay so the next slide gives you a bunch of uh, uh, possible applications right so if you look at it on the left um uh, uh it's about how the xr is going to touch our life on a daily basis now and the future on the left side la children playing pasanga adavadha naanga vandu chinna vayasula irukumbodhu naanga vandu computer la vilaiyadilla phone la vilaiyadilla vilaiyanuna we go out to the ground we go to the road we play outside right enga kaalathala i am 52 years old right enga kaalathala na padikumbodhu computer game kedaiyadhu phone game kedaiyadhu idu kedaiyadhu vilayanuna you take a bat in your hand you take a football in your hand you take a gilly you take a goli and you go play right abri irundhathu enna aachu the last 10 years lot of kids become a couch potato adavadhu phone 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 right you play a lot of phones screen time screen time screen time right so and this xr or the ar vr now has the opportunity the capability to bring the kids back to the field by mixing virtual world and digital world pokemon go nu kelli pottirukingala and the pokemon go was a game where people could bring pokemon characters live in physical world these are virtual characters they could play individually or they could play at a community the pokemon go out to the field then there's a 3d avatar 3d element that can play with you so that is how the future is going to be yeah next is when you go and uh, visit monuments whether it is rome colosseum that you see it here or you go to number uh uh, uh but tanjavur peri kovil now tanjavur peri kovil is become very famous after pony and selvan right adu vanda anda kaalathula eppadi irundathu inga or camera paath or phone or phone eduthu adu ne kaatingna it can overlay and show you how this peri kovil was doing that time right of course you have to build some application around it so other than it means you can it can help you to visualize what something could be or what it was before right it has a lot of uh, applications that both in terms of construction new buildings or experience the glory of something from the previous years that's what it means the third thing is family communicating that's what i mean by here adavadhu now people see it initially we wrote a letter to communicate to people letter la agaporam became the you know simple pager pager la vande neenga phone ponna pager varu phone vanduchu physical ena land phone then became pager pager became a phone then became a sms then what did we get we got a voice call one on one voice call right then it became a video call one on one now you could do a group chat like this i could have 500 people in a group chat now moving forward 
is going to be a immersive computing where a digital avatar a holographic avatar of the third person can come in front of you in the living ring living room that means if you have your brother sister or uncle aunt in a different country ninga holographic reporting na avanga hologram can come in front of you you feel as if the person is in front of you is virtual digital avatar adu kuda ninga pesalam palagalam pesalam palagalam yes you can do uh, those two things that's the holographic teleportation this one be family communicating the third is working fourth is the family the professional working we saw a lot of those examples right engine coming up live we are able to collaborate constructions everything the fifth one is very uh, interesting right fitness adavathu ellarkum theriyum especially 30 year plus 40 year plus we all take new resolution na inda varshathil inda weight korekka poran every week na anju vaati run panna poran exercise panna poran adha panna poran we do all those promises but as the days go by months go by we forget and we don't do it one of the key motivation for us to do is if in case we had a company pa pakkathu vita alla edir vita alla yam friend avana vandana if you have that kind of company the chances of you doing the chances of you doing the uh, exercise is lot more higher because you have some company so in the vr la enna pannudana when you wear a vr a headset or a, or a simple glass you could have a virtual avatar of your friend or a virtual avatar of your trainer as if he's there in front of you and training you so adanala vande you know there is there's a lot of collaboration there's a lot of motivation a lot of empathy that people can feel right so that is very important the last thing at the bottom pathinga virtual production ipo movie la pathinga including this uh, uh, lion king was shot in vr was shot using unity right so people kids were interested in film making ad making anything in the design thing they should take a close look at the class moving forward yeah now this slide when they gives you a context a simple glass ku pathinga ar glass even this glass they talked about so this glass you know one year like become smaller and smaller become like a young in the glass mari ado in the glass mari ado right but it has amazing technology built inside it is nothing it is a computer that means it has a cpu gpu display ad thavara it has so much of sensors to understand the environment it has 3d depth cameras it has ambient sensors it has microphone it has a temperature sensors it has humidity right so you can understand the depth of what you see environment so that it can give you relevant information right you can run various applications like just like a computer computer la now you can run calendar you can run whatsapp you can run all those can be run here at the same time it is not a stand alone device it is a device that requires edge computing to connect it also requires you to connect to the internet and to the cloud so all those things put together is how we going to shape the world change the world in the movie, in the you uh, know in the coming years right and trust me this glass what i'm wearing that will be the glass you need if in the glass la eppadi nammalku option irukke nee glass vaangringala di contact lens potrukringala adhe mari da ar vr xr glass on the coming years they will ask you whether you want a glass or a contact lens a potrukala podu ungalku seringla now that uh, we um, talked about this are the various applications right what i will do is i'll skip this for now i'll come back i want to talk about the technology right now i'm going to quickly skip this these are the various companies yes let's talk about the types of immersive technologies a little more detail to understand what they are and we'll come back uh, to the applications later on right so number id patti pesano enna pesano we talked about uh, vr ar and mr vr is what i have seen you what i'm showing you in front of you on the left side you wear a vr headset everything is digital everything is virtual you don't know what's happening around you completely just what it shows this duck everything is digital everything is virtual it's not happening in your room is happening in a completely digital environment 
The next is AR, augmented reality. You are able to bring a virtual object in front of you. That object doesn't have a context of spatial computing. It doesn't understand that in front of me, there is a laptop. In front of me, there's a chair. Hence, I cannot place this on the chair. virtual object virtual. That's augmented reality. The next thing is the mixed reality, where there's a concept for spatial computing. That is a 3D uh, uh, scanner that scans your environment around you, your room. Then it will understand that, hey, I have a table in front of me. I have a chair in front of me. I have a wall in front of me. And based on that, it will place the virtual object so that the, the object looks very amazingly immersed and will not pierce through the virtual object there will be no overlap so under our realism by having a interaction of the physical object right that's called the mixed reality and this device is hololens that is delivered that delivers mixed reality now let's talk about generally you know i I, I think I mentioned uh, 30 minutes back that, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the technology began AR and VR is nothing new. It has evolved from many devices. That's what this, uh, this, this deck is talking about. If you look at AR, it has evolved from the land phone, cameras, other technology, laptops, handle, the other technology combined with the combined IE is getting used in the AR glass. And if a VR, same thing, TV, desktop PC, gaming consoles, a bit of smartphone and laptop, although all the building components and the use cases and the way consumer using our devices, they all going to is all getting into the VR device. Same application, but different immersive interactivity. This AR and VR will combine along with uh, AR under the AR is also inclusive of MR, mixed reality. Now in the future, uh, and it's all going to become like a contact lens, right? You wear a contact lens, you see the world the way you see it. Suddenly, if you want to see a dinosaur or if you want to see a, a big rocket in front of you, hit a, a, a app or something on your ears, you see the virtual object in front of it. Adamari visualization, the Adamari interactivity is what is built uh, in the AR, VR, and that's going to be in, as a part of a contact lens, yeah? Now, now that we define, let's talk about VR. Let me read the content, right? VR, virtual reality, is a simulated experience that can be like or completely different from the real world, which allows people to experience destinations from across the world without ever having to leave their space. That's what it says in plain English. What that means is, once you wear a VR headset, right, you are completely cut off from the real world. You are in a virtual world. In a virtual world, you could be anywhere you want to be. It could be in Mars, it could be in kitchen, it could be in a factory. And you are with a controller, you could interact with it. What is the main use of VR? Training, training, training. Anything that you want to uh, simulate to a real world, VR delivers that, right, virtual reality delivers that and it's used extensively by the industries all the industries chemical manufacturing automobile uh, supply chain banking all for training people they use this because training is very expensive and and it's also very inefficient so over much you train somebody in the skills when they go to the real world they all struggle and they make a lot of mistakes. And sometimes the mistakes are very fatal and lead to accidents and death. We are in a panunangulaka. Are they training it? Gives in such an impactful way, so close to the real world, so that the need for a physical, the amount of physical training you need in the real world gets reduced, so that many of the issues you have in the real time. A new work introduction gets solved by VR. And that is the primary way VR is being used. That is from the industrial perspective. But gaming, see any technology, whether it is a PC or a mobile, 
the first adopters of technology always gamers because gaming means entertainment they don't mind uh, paying that money they don't mind and plus they require all those high power high hp high computing engines to render 3d so this has been always the case right so we are when the gaming is a given thing they were the initial uh, adopters of vr technology yeah next now <clears throat> this has some little bit of story right so it says um we are positively changes human behavior rewires the brain i will tell you a story right way back in 2000 when i was working for intel uh in the us the university of washington right a medical hospital uh did a lot of uh, steroid based pain management see when you have a burn injury right the, that is the most painful uh thing burn third degree burn and people uh when they now they take steroids they take steroids when they dress and undress so at that time uh, intel along with bunch of other companies along with the university of washington as part of the team they were building vr systems that will replace that will replace uh, uh steroids because steroids has lot of uh, side effects in a pananga so are giving steroids for the pain as a pain killer during the dressing of a burn injury patient they put him on a vr game right at the time the vr game was very because it was built many many years the game, the device was very very big and heavy but the idea is now he is playing a game is very immersive game where there's a lot of engagement to the body and senses a lot of activity a lot of immersion a lot of mental focus see steroids doesn't cure pain it doesn't it all it does is it makes you forget pain it rewires your neurons for a short period of time so that you forget pain for that short duration after the steroid or effect fades away you get the pain again that's what in pain medication does same thing we are does when you engage them through a very good engagement game right your focus changes you tend to forget the pain and in the process it also used a lot in rehabilitation stroke rehabilitation we as a company we do a lot of work in the healthcare and development so a lot of applications for vr in uh, healthcare yeah so it has this capacity to rewire the brain so that the change is permanent see stroke rehabilitation la pathinga na what do you do stroke vanda vanduchuna you know one part of your brain one part of your body uh, 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 gets uh, paralyzed right you don't get to use the body in the initially so the amount of paralyzation depends on the severity of the uh, brain of your stroke of your stroke uh, then what happens then you spend days and weeks and months to rehabilitate what do you do in rehabilitation in a stroke vanda some part of the brain gets damaged that's why you lose uh, you become paralyzed on one side then during the rehabilitation when you do the various exercises and activity that are well orchestrated by the physiotherapist and the neurosurgeon you all you're trying to do is recoup or uh, recruit some part of the brain to do the same work right that's why they able to improve and as they do more and more activity and exercises they get better at the same thing instead of doing uh, you know exercise which is slower we put vr something called neuro plasticity neuroplasticity is the technique that vr uses to make sure some part of the brain that gets damaged your human brain able to recruit different part of the brain to make sure the same activity can be done by the by the patient and they rehabilitated and recovered so that the quality of life gets better right so we are has a huge potential in the healthcare and we use it on a daily basis we are a developer of that yes sorry 
So there are, as I said, there are a lot of applications for VR, right? I uh, will not spend too much time on it. But if you look at it, all those things will go come online, right? It will be posted on the LMS. Training we talked about, police officers. If, for example, our company, Engage, has built a metaverse system for Kerala police. So Kerala police officers, they get trained in metaverse how to deal with different crimes some scene. So we have built a 3D world where we have done a digital twin of the last 50 uh, crime scenes. The crime scenes could be bank robbery, bomb blast, uh, 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 suicide, murder, drowning, what not, all the crimes. Now, when the people wear the VR headset, they feel as if they are in the real world and they collaborate and they uh, investigate the uh, crime. So that's what we have done. So training, education, you can guess, right? Without going to any place, you no know, kids can learn, feel, immerse themselves, you know, doing the learning process. They can go to Africa and see things. That's what means by education. Healthcare, I think I gave you enough thing. Any skilling, right? Anything that is skilling, healthcare, training doctors, training nurses in the job, we are plays a great part in. Yeah. A retail. Right, a retailer is the main thing, right? Retailer, when the when when you retail, all you're trying to do is first show the product. Once you show the product, if you go to the physical store, what do you do? First, the product has to look good. You look at the good product. Then what do you do? You try it on. Right? You try it on the dressing room. But many people get bored going to the trial room. People get bored to go to the store. They want to buy online. Just think about it. In a online, if there's a way by which you can try what your buying on yourself before buying right that's fantastic that's what now a uh, lot of people are, uh, are doing it right now right uh, that's what retail means real estate the the, the 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 capacity to visualize your house before you buy it before you decorate it that's great games entertainment you know is huge right it's huge uh, where you uh, people play games not just a single game multiplayer collaborative game now, this is HMD, right? The device which I talked about, right? Um, I'll show it to you when I come to your uh, college. Uh, it, is, it is a lot of cool technologies. HMD stands for Head Mounted uh, Displays. It has um, all the computing that you could uh, think of, you know, the, the CPU, GPU, RAM, uh, cache memory. Then it has a display, it has lenses, cameras, all built inside that gives you that visual uh, realism, your visual immersion, right? That's called HMD. Uh, uh, it's called the head mounted dis <clears throat> display. And Oculus Quest is the uh, leading player in this space. I'm going to take a short. One second, bring and drink some water, huh? So let's look at it, right? So uh, how did this VR evolve? You said, sir, you said, you phone you said, you took 30 years, you said, so upon now in the VR law, you use our the new Pudo Sham one Kekla. No, that's not the case. VR has been evolving. I showed you and spoke about the experience of uh, my experience with the uh, you know uh, pain management, burn injuries. Right, that was twenty years back. VR is nothing new. VR has been there for the last good thirty years in much bigger use space. Every flight pilot in the world before he gets onto the actual uh, plane and fly, what does he do? He, does, he trains himself on flight simulators. That flight simulator is nothing but VR, virtual reality. So we are in different form, different size, different uh, capability, different performance as exit, a different cost as, as, as been there for the last 20, 25, 20 years. But in the last three, four years, the size of the device has shrunk, the cost has shrunk, the performance has increased due to AI and GPU. That's what has triggered this explosion 
of PVR use cases, which was primarily meant for R&D to enterprises the last three, four years, now is coming into consumers. Moving forward, you will have a lot of sleek uh, snap lenses. A lot of cool things will happen, right? But just to rest my case, VR is nothing new. It's been a long time. It's been proven. There are thousands of journals, research papers done and uh, written about VR's application on healthcare alone. But that time it was not used in the consumer space because the devices were very expensive. It was costing 25 lakhs, 30 lakhs per device, and it was very heavy. You can't use it beyond even one minute. But now devices can be used for one hour at a stretch. The cost is very cheap. Phone, 30,000 rupees, you get a good device, right? So. Uh, so no VR, right? VR has uh, you know different type of uh, VR, right? One is the tethered VR, also called the wire VR, and the untethered VR called the uh, wireless VR. So the video looks very funny, huh? This guy is uh, is all scared and things like that. The reason he is scared because in the actual experience, is going in a uh, is in going in a forest. And he sees various dinosaurs running around him. And trust me, within, say, one minute, people who we are forget they are in the real world. They feel as if they are in the forest. That's why the emotions are so real that they feel as if they are. That's the thing I talked about, neuroplasticity. That's why I talked about it has a capacity to revive the brain. So what is that we are? See, some of the 3Ds, I talked about 3D models. 3D models are expensive not cost-wise, they are heavy. You need a large computing system to show a better FPS, frame per second, to have much better realism. So if you have a large 3D model, a huge factory, huge forest, huge application that requires a lot of uh, tries or polygons to be rendered on a continuous basis, you need uh, the power of a GP on a, la on a PC or a or a, a, a you know high-end gaming laptop to drive the rendering to your device. Otherwise, you need a PC connected to a VR device. That's called tethered VR or a wide VR. But other way, uh, not that uh, heavy load, mid-size load. Other than the way you have smartphones, you have a VR device that doesn't have any PC built. Everything is built inside the uh, standalone headset itself. And you can use your hand to do the gestures, to do control things. That's called the wireless. In this class, in our class, AR VR course, we're going to teach uh, VR on Oculus Quest, uh, which is the leading player of uh, VR in the world. And that comes under the wireless or untethered VR. Controllers, right? So uh, other key component for VR is the controller. And this controller is nothing but your mouse uh, where you type things, right? Your mouse or a keyboard uh, which you control things. Uh, but nowadays, along with the controller, Oculus Quest has a mode where you can uh, not need to hold because, you know, uh, not all people will be comfortable to hold a controller and press A, B and things like that. So now the devices have natural realism, natural interactivity. That means by just using your hand, wearing a VR headset, you could control things. That means that it's a 3D camera that continuously scans your hand and that connects your physical hand to a virtual uh, 3D assets that you're looking at. So it's a pretty cool. You have to see it. You have to feel it. You have to experience it. That's why how much ever you learn and read and watch video uh, on an online medium, only if you physically see it, physically experience it, you understand the impact, the strength, the deep impact that VR will have on your world, right? And that's why we, uh, as a company, engage. We're going to be at your college teaching uh, 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 this face-to-face -face for a whole full week for your students. I want, I urge every one of your students, every, uh, I urge every spark to make sure you avail this opportunity and start your journey. I'm not saying that you're going to be all super gurus in, you know, one week. No, it's just a start. Once you, the students are very, very smart. See, there is a big difference between when I was a student 
and the student right now. The IQ, the EQ of the current students is much, much, much higher. All that they need is some guidance, tools, and some motivation. They are super capable to do things uh, on their own. And that's why we're going to come for a week, give access to the hardware, show them how to do it, and we can provide the offline mentorship. But I'm, 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 uh, I'm very convinced that uh, you know these students will make their uh, college, their district, their state, state of the Great Tamil Nadu uh, as the number one hub, one number one center of ARVR developers in the world. Yeah. So the other things I talked about is the aptics, right? So aptics is the extra gloves uh, that uh, or the hand that will give you the touch and feel. See, you know, VR is more visual, right? But how do you, in the real world, when somebody hits you or somebody throws things at you, you feel it, right? It's just not visual, right? You feel something hitting you. So there are a lot of techn research happening. There are a lot of aptic suits and gloves people have designed this out in the market not yet for the consumer but more for enterprises where in addition to the visual realism you also have the touch and feel realism right it's amazing this is the nirvana see if you have having if you're able to deliver a virtual experience where not only the visual realism you are able to touch and feel the same way you feel. That means when you're holding a knife and you're cutting a, a, a cheese or a bread or a brick, you see a different sensation. If you can feel the same way, that's the max level. That means that means you're able to deliver a virtual experience that is very close to the real world, right? That's where we are heading. Amazing time, guys. I'm not sure about you all, but I am super excited. Even though I am 52 years old, I think in the next two, three years, the amount of technology changes that will happen in this world will be equivalent to the last 10 years of 15 years of uh, digital rapid changes. So uh, we are in the cusp. We are at the cusp of revolution, right? So all you guys need to do, students, is open your eyes, be smart about it. This is your feature. Learn it. The money is huge. Job is huge. The pay is huge. And it's not boring. It is not like, you know, you write theory, write equation, do this experiment, do that experiment. It's more visual, more experiential, right? So you can feel the technology. So it's, I think I urge every one of you to stand up, get motivated, get all pumped up, right? Okay. All right. So, uh, I'm hoping it is okay for me to mix up a bit of there. Yeah. Only English. That's why I'm trying to. Uh, mix a bit of uh, Tamil in my uh, speaking so that, you know, at least I don't get bored only speaking English, right? So I've lived in 18 years in the U.S., got bored. I want to speak Tamil and I've, I've been training myself very hard to make sure I'm able to speak both uh, formal Tamil and colloquial Tamil, yeah? So, uh, good. So these are the different companies, guys. As I said, mentioned earlier, Meta is Facebook, Epic Games, every company that it is Amazon, Patina, hiring hundreds and thousands of uh, AR, VR engineers. Why? Every product they have, they put it in the catalog. They want a 3D model, not just 3D model. The 3D model, they want to make sure people can experience, try it on 3D product on the, for example, if you are selling a table, in Amazon, right now, it is only a picture. Now, they are converting that table into a 3D. Adhikada, we are going to teach you Blender. 3D panita, not just that. On the table, unga room le ebdi irukku. On the room undu can be a living room or whatever, different color ebdi irukku. Paakarthikada, we will use AR, augmented reality technology. Right? Adhamari, all those e-commerce e companies are employing on a daily basis, see the Unity uh, AR VR guys are huge demand. People who were earning only 
30,000 rupees in two years back. Now they are earning 1.5 lakhs per month. Right? I'm just saying in average. Other than you have to be good. Other than when the you know it's not that you just because you know how to spell A R V R. Just because you know how to do few things doesn't mean you have to show the capability. Because this technology is not simple two line of coding. It requires three things. We talked about right? creativity, understanding the technology, and understanding development. All combined together. Yeah. So these are the many uh, companies, right, in India who are uh, invested in the last many years in AR VR, along with uh, big boys like Vipro, Tech, and Accenture. It's also Engage. We are. This is our ninth year. One of the early movers. We, in fact, we supply uh, technology to all the leading companies. That includes uh, Mahindra, includes TCS. Uh, we do, yeah, because. they might have good engineers but engage has good creative technologist so so it just gives you an idea of the possible domain in which vr is going to which it is booming and will continue to boom if you look at it gaming it's a big area that is the biggest area followed by healthcare engineering live events guys live events is amazing i'll tell you what i saw some 6 7 years back 7 or 8 years back i was in uh, california for a event is a digital conference they showed me a vr uh, experience where i wore a vr headset then i was immediately transported to a actual stadium where people play football and the football was a 3d more all the top players of manchester and I think it was one more team uh, um were in 3d model and the best part is a live uh, event a live football game that is happening through 3d scanner and collecting data from 3d scanner through 3d avatars when you wear it you are able to see the same game that's happening live in 3d within some 2 3 seconds delay what is a big deal now in a in a, if you're watching the same live uh, event in a tv you get to see only one angle whatever the uh, cameraman sets in and if you go to the actual uh, um, uh, stadium you can't go anywhere you want you have a seat you sit there you watch and you pay big amount of money depending on where you want to sit now in this vr device what i get to do first i get to see the live event in 3d that means every player is done in a realistic way the stadium is all in 3d very realistic the best part now i could go anywhere i want i could go middle of the field and see how the players are running around me i could see it in different angle i could watch the game from a goal goalkeeper perspective right this holds good for anything cricket match just think about it right so all you need is people wearing some senses which people do anyways these days right uh, when when a cricketer they all wear senses where so you get to see all those uh, input data on the screen now you have 3d cameras scanning things up then you see you wear a vr headset within 2 3 seconds sort of watching a live uh, 2d tv you could watch in 3d and you get to go you could be next to the uh, wicket keeper and see how he's hitting or you could be in the middle of the pitch when uh, when 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 uh, you know a fast bowler bumra bowls you could be see how the ball comes to you right So it's amazing experience, guys, and that's where the world is heading. Uh, live events, video, real estate, retail, military, education—huge, huge, huge, huge. Yeah. Now that we talked about um, uh, uh, VR, right? Now let's talk about AR. What does AR means? Right? AR means augmented reality. VR. quickly summarize it's 100% virtual that means once you wear a vr headset you don't know what's happening in front of you you are completely in a virtual world in a virtual world you could be in a stadium watching a cricket match you could be in a uh, in a zoo watching some animals or you could be in a, a kitchen cutting vegetables that's augment, virtual reality augmented reality right augmented reality as it defines right now it says ar is augmented reality which is a present day technology 
Then, okay, okay. So, so guys, uh, somebody walked in and said that you know uh, I have time until three thirty to finish up the topic. Yeah, so I have it's three o'clock until three thirty. I'll finish the topic half an hour. Yeah. So, what does the AR means? AR is a, a technology where the digital content in the form of 3D appears in front of you, right? So what does this particular uh, thing show you, right? In a, for the naked eye, the way you see it, you see a book, yeah, right? You see a book. Now you build an AR application on a phone. Now you point the phone's camera at the same book. There is an elephant which comes up. That's augmented reality. That means you are augmenting the real world, which is a book, by overlaying a digital element on top of it. Augmenting reality. Augmenting the real world with a virtual world. That's called augmenting reality. If you look at it on the right side, the real world is a book. Phone, you, air application, you look at it. Book lander, there's a 3D elephant comes up. That's augmented reality. Now, it could be an elephant. It could be a lathe. It could be a CNC machine. It could be human anatomy. It could be a, a rocket engine. could be anything. Where in a particular day, now becomes 3D. You can interact with it so that there's a lot more stickiness in what you're learning. Yeah? Applications. Huge, boss. Huge, 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 huge application. In fact, Apple... Uh, came back and said that uh, uh, Tim Cook gave an interview a few days back. Tim Cook is the uh, CEO of Apple. Uh, we are from the same college. He also did uh, his master's from Duke, where I did my master's. I met him a couple of times. <clears throat> so, so what he says is, AI will be so integrated in your life in three years, five years by your phone. See, every bit of phone that you all have has AR already built inside. And you've been using AR without knowing it's called AR. filters use pandrang. Everybody uses filters, right? You all have you seen people look at their camera suddenly on the face and the face becomes like a cat, the, the tongue comes out, you know, they are nothing but AR. Your physical face where you're putting all this digital object and you're able to track it left and right, right? That's nothing but AR. All those filters where you apply makeup, you put a glass on your face, they're all snap filters. They're all nothing but AR. TV, you're watching uh, uh, cricket. Cricket, they're putting a line and saying that they're putting a line, they're putting all those overlay on the physical stadium. They're all but AR. So people been using AR in this world, everybody without realizing it is AR. And but there's nothing but AR. Now it's like booming. Right? So this guy, Tim Cook from Apple, says, who's a CEO, not this guy, he's a CEO, respected a CEO. He says, in three, five years, AR will be so integrated in your life, consumer life, you would think. How did my life go on without AR before? Let me again say it. Tim Cook says, in the coming years, say three or five years, AR will be so integrated in your life for things, seeing things virtually in front of you, for measuring things, for giving directions, all things. He says that you'll be so integrated, you will think, This is same like this. Can you imagine one day life without smartphone? I don't know how I, how I lived my life without phone before. Where for everything I need to go to our PC, I have to click and see it. Everything is in my hands. Right? Adamari AI will be so much integrated into your life. And we need to learn. We need to know what it is that we need. You know how to develop it so that we get, we drive Tamil Nadu to the top. Yeah? Nan Mudalvan. What does it mean? Nan Mudalvan means. Nan Mudalvan doesn't mean that you are the CM. Nan Mudalvan means you need to be top in your game. Whatever you do, in this case, AR, VR, right? You need to be top in the game. You need to do take your best effort possible so that 
you are top person in the in your in your field that's what non mudalan means right so navigation tools if you want to look right now na pandro we are uh, looking google maps but it's all fixed to 2d other way no you wear a glass it will show you how to go in real time we all have seen google or a new uh, navigation where there was a lot of video that's the way the world is heading yeah so military training archaeology we already talked about right இது தஞ்சாவூர் பெரிய கோவில் இதுக்கு முன்ன எப்படி இருந்தது ரைட் அதெல்லாம் விஷுவலைஸ் பண்றதுக்கு ஆல் தி பாடஞ்ச டெம்பிள்ஸ் எல்லாம் இதுக்கு முன்ன எப்படி இருந்தது இட் ஷோ போன் அட் இட் இட் வில் ஷோ யூ ஹவு இட் வாஸ் பிஃபோர் ஆர்கியாலஜி யூஜ் ரிமோட் அசிஸ்டன்ட் ஐ டோல் யூ ரைட் நீங்க இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு பிக்ஸ் சம்திங் right you don't know how to fix it you call a service guy service guy comes for two days he fix it he doesn't know he calls his boss and there two weeks long process other way if you have a phone you point at it and through the iot sensors it collects data and tells you what are the issue is then it gives you step by step instruction visually not text overlaid how to go fix it boom it's done remote assistance right that's what it means uh ar one the has multiple uh, type of ar boss right one is the marker based ar marker based ar na what that means is uh, the the virtual object gets uh, placed on the uh, real world in this case a phone as you move the phone the 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 object also moves along with it right that's a marker based that means the digital object is placed on a particular uh, image or a physical object and it moves around right that's a marker based ar uh this is a projection based uh, vr or a markerless based uh, vr where it doesn't need a marker it doesn't need anything it just requires a flat surface right for example uh pointing your phone at a particular book on the page vandachuna adha motta kaata adilende ani padikirathu vande comes out in 3d and you can interact with it right that is a marker based other way is it man aba i just we are discussing about some engine uh you know automobile engine and i want to show him what it means i point the camera of my phone at a floor floor land the things comes up that is nothing but projection based uh, uh ar yeah either location based ar that means depending on the gps location it gives you directions how to go gps works on location based other way instead of you seeing on a 2d object you point at it enga porudhu and kadakana kadaike or whatever it is it will show you in your physical world go here go here go there go left right so that is the location based ar right so pokemon go which was a game that was uh, you know uh, launched five six years back which had you know i said close to 3 billion dollars worth of in app purchases was based on location based ar yeah, that means that that particular pokemon character will come only on a particular location not anywhere else hmm? that is location based ar right idu superimposition ar adu or physical object lende adilende things come for example you know uh, when we go to the taj mahal taj mahal ninga camera phone la kaatina taj mahal lende things like this can appear right that's a superimposition ar there are different kinds of ar kungul right a lot of ars it all depends what defines what to do it all depends on the experience what you're looking at right if it's for a direction you say it is, you need a location based ar if you want to use air experience to come out of a book or any physical paper then you can use a marker based or a physical object marker based other way no 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 i don't want this i want this to come up anywhere because we i can't yeah, give yeah, i can't yeah, give yeah. access i can't give access to a marker then becomes your uh, uh, it becomes a, a, you know markerless based or projection based ar other way if you want to do a large scale fun big uh, launch and a large scale thing then you could do a super precision ar right once again camera based ar systems we talked about that uh, so ar is just not uh, so ar can be delivered through a simple smartphone like this this is enough every phone that you have right now in the market of a decent configuration has ar built inside right so moving forward every phone will have ar built in so other than that 
you know ar glasses irukku ungalku there's a snap ar there's enreal there's a raven has launched epson mobile or railway they are for industrial applications right uh, in snap ar is more for filters whereas railway and uh, google glass and epson is for remote assistance for industrial applications either we already went through this i'm going to skip this uh, mm-hmm. companies who have invested in ar vr we already talked about that uh, we talked about that uh, how will ar change your lives right i said similar stuff right you look at it right you look at it the different applications uh, i'm going to admit some people or right. okay so you look at it right so games 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 plays a huge part in any technology games healthcare engineering live events real estate same applications right huge and how can ar be used e-commerce everything you want to buy e-commerce if you able to visualize in 3d and you can try it on is great marketing material instead of newspaper or padikringa if you want to buy a particular thing you point at the camera at it object comes life great education huge right so it can change life as i said apple feels in 3 years 5 years ar will be so integrated in your life both using android phones and iphones you cannot live without ar yeah the future of ar yeah we talked about right so from a ar glass to ar windshield ar windshield that means your car will have a ar layer in your windshield you don't have to look at the phone anymore your google maps will get overlaid on your windshield so that it gives you directions what to do and as you go along if there are some uh, company deals in the in the restaurant the deal kudukra in the in the you know in the store max deal kudukra na the coupons kuda vandrum windshield la right so those are things uh, people want to capture every screen in front of you what are the screens in front of you it could be a contact lens it could be a glasses could be a windshield right it could be a mirror in your house uh, right everything mirror they want to put in a ar uh, sensor on top of it mr mr stands for mixed reality let me read it mixed reality allows you to see and immerse yourself in the world around you even as you interact with the virtual environment using your own hands that means in addition to ar where you can manipulate only the physical the virtual object you cannot manipulate the um you can't manipulate the physical object you can only manipulate the virtual object in ar whereas vr is completely uh, virtual right in mr you have a chance to manipulate both the physical world and the real world you have the interactivity both that means the 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 the, the sensors in your uh uh hollow lens which is a mr this hollow lens it has sensors here it has camera here it has camera here it can understand that i'm sitting in front of my room you can scan do special computing it can can sense my hands what not and you could you can also hence interact with both the virtual object and the physical object so in the future all devices will have mr yeah so special computing sonna ungalku what that means is it calculates using the 3d sense cameras it understands the space around you it understands where is the door where is the gap so that it can place the virtual object and make the virtual object interact with the physical object in a very realistic way we talked about hand tracking right hand tracking when the for example in a in a in a mr using your hands so this cameras can sense your hand it will knows what you are doing every finger you know what what you are doing can place objects so there's a lot of realism that that comes into play so two major companies hololens and now uh, magic leap has launched second devices so hololens magic leap they all comes under the mr glasses and every every company hp has launched it htc has launched it so that's where things are going right uh so if you look at it in a in a computer what do you do you have mouse your mouse to move uh your your moves the cursor right in this case when i put a vr devices my head movement i'm moving left to right that's equivalent to a mouse and my display in my computer is a display this is a display but the object comes in front of me in 3d in front of me and the next thing is your clicks how do you click how do you select in a in a computer you enter it through your keyboard then you use your mouse uh, to click it mouse boss to track 
your tracking is same as your head tracking. Now, instead of clicking the mouse, your fingers get tracked and you could trigger various things, clicks happen through your hands. Yeah. So it's nothing but a computer with 3D uh, spatial computing, generating uh, and gesture and tracking machine. Applications, guys, we went through a lot of videos, right? A lot of videos. If you look look at it on the left side, construction, right? Construction, you could visualize content, you could collaborate. Second is manufacturing. You see the person is able to uh, visualize content uh, among the team members in his office. At the same time, you could bring in a digital avatar of somebody who sits in Germany in the same room, all can look at the same design together. It saves a lot of time, carbon footprint. If you want to be environmentally friendly country, you know, we need to uh, uh, reduce carbon footprint, uh, reduce carbon emission. So Idala want to play a fantastic role in that. Design, I think we talked about this a lot. So it's just, just, just see the video. Uh, just see the video of what they're doing. I just... So design, right? He's designing something, a ball. Whereas here he's designing something else and they all having a telepresence together. Yeah. Healthcare, you look at it. Now healthcare uh, surgeons can use MR to practice inserting an extremely small medical implant into a specific patient body. So MGM hospital in Chennai uh, use the MR uh, devices to do a very complicated surgery when they were doing some transplant uh, uh, in, into some small kid. And they did all the simulation using MR with the actual component so that th there's no error during the actual surgery. And it was a huge su success, a supply management, right? So you look at it, right? You see it. How cool are these? Yeah. Um. I have another 15 minutes. Okay. Evolution. Evolution means how did we reach where we are now, right? Over the years, how things evolved. In the slide, we are going to path it all. So I am not going to spend time. The key message is XR gives you the next. IT computing platform, which is Web 3.0, which is Metaverse, that gives you this 3D interactivity as if the content is around you. Mm -hmm. Now, 5G, you all have seen uh, messages in your SMS in the last uh, one week. At it said, oh, okay, Chennai is a 5G city, right? We're going to have 5G service very soon, right? If you look at it, the way we communicate among, uh, communicate both for work and for personal use, right, has evolved over the years, 1980s, uh, voice call, analog voice, you know, 1G, SMS Amcho, and we send digital voice, 1980s, as we use 2G. Then came the MMS and the video, other we had mobile data, then we use 3G for it. Then in the last, uh, 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 12 years, 4G came into play where we are doing a, a group video call. I think we did 4G. Now, why you need 5G? For watching video, for doing video call, we already solved it in 4G. We don't need it. Holographic telepresence, AR, VR, Web 3.0, Metaverse, real-time rendering. You need 5G and above. That's why 5G is very important. That's why Geo is launching 5G. Geo also is launching a, a Geo phone, which is nothing but an MR phone. So in India, la na, Geo phone is nothing but a MR device, right? So it is required for communication, communication both from personal uh, side, also from the industrial or work or enterprise side. I think I went through this uh, before. See, this technology here is nothing new. As I said, 1968, 1938, it has evolved over the years. But Apollo, it was very big. It was used only for R&D and scientific things, not exposed to the enterprises, not exposed to the consumers. Now, the last, look at it, right from 2000, 
16 landa stc y was launched then oculus was launched in yeah, 2016 landa oculus rift was launched facebook bought it then came hololens if you see the activity until 2000 uh 16 it was more on the uh r&d side all the r&d side right the real google glass came in 2013 but it was a flop right it was not that good uh the real thing happened in google cardboard where it opened up a uh, uh, pretty thing facebook bought see oculus acquired by facebook 2014 vangite they launched the first device right in 2016 so only 6 years or 2 years perched due to occult, due to pandemic but the pandemic has helped us to accept telepresence accept virtual presence right so that's what happened so this shows you the evolution of things have changed i think we have talked about this enough right so uh, the evolution of web is leading to a new iteration where a single and universal immersive internet experience facilitated through ar vr headset as an interface and that is called as web 3.0 that is called as metaverse and metaverse uses ar vr as the fundamental building block to build this 3d worlds right uh, uh, there are many things i think i'll talk more in decentraland guys there is um, i'll spend probably a minute a uh, lot of videos about web 3.0 nfts uh, and uh, metaverse and the uh, ar vr frameworks this different tools used in it ar uh, foundation ar kit ar core they are all going to be available in the uh, engage lms so i strongly urge the students to log in to normadhan platform and come to engage metaverse lms platform and go through the video if you don't go through the video even one you will not be called as enrolled if you're not enrolled you will not get your credits so please sparks 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 you are the key people in today now on the chuma side la da ito i'm talking spark you are going to play a very critical role today the critical role is work with the uh, work with the uh, tndc team write a email to them say that hey i am supposed to have all the students enrolled in ar vr class adala only uh, say 50% 80% what not whatever issues you have are able to enroll the remaining people it shows a different arv course talk to the uh, tndc team and and uh, once that gets resolved make sure every student who is able to log in the non modern platform let them log in let them come to engage platform see the video benefit because they go through this uh, live classes if they're not enrolled they will not get credit so please please uh, send a email to your non model when uh, spark write to them talk to them if you need help from us please send us the list of students who are not able to log in we will take your case i don't want to be the person please work with them extraordinary help you know not to look pandra because i'm nowhere involved in the enrollment right and that's this completely the uh, that's completely the responsibility of tnc team anyways that's what right where an arc ungalku oh yeah this we already talked about it right so um so the phones i told you right uh, uh the phones that was a long time back right uh, is becoming very small it took almost 25 years of evolution uh, xr in 2017 is like what phone were in 1995 right this big brick is 95 version that's what xr in 2017 in in the next the last two years and now we have come to the smaller version of the phone but 2025 we will have the smartphone version of the phone right so the key point here is uh the xr will have xr means what ar vr mr combined together metaverse web 3.0 right so you will have a much faster evolution so don't think that it's going to take a long time so uh the the time the the movement for people to get in ar vr is now 
and you as a students need to be super smart need to be super exposed need to put in the effort to learn this yeah uh, impact we already talked about it virtual economy right we already talked about the layers of metaverse you see it uh, the layers of metaverse which is the web 3.0 is very similar if you look at it that is uh, the uh, the infrastructure which is the which i talked about right the 5g 6g wi-fi 8 that is the basis of your infrastructure followed by the human interface which is your optics uh, gestures voice glasses right that's how you interact with the internet content that's human interface then decentralization i talked about which is all the uh, edge computing the blockchain uh, and the various AI agents, which helps you to do the decentralization as part of the third layer. Uh, then comes your uh, spatial computing. We talked about, are you understanding the space around you in the digital world, the various 3D engines, right? All those comes under spatial computing. And for a ecosystem to get developed, to thrive, you need to create a created economy because that's when, when a smartphone was developed and launched as a BlackBerry, it was okay, great device, but didn't have a, uh, a great economy. Only after I phone was launched, the apps came into play, right? People started creating a developer community around iPhone, then followed by Android developer community. That's when the whole thing exploded, right? The entire market exploded where there was apps for everything. Same way for AR, VR, we are seeing an explosion where there's a creator economy, right? People using that, the launching design tools, uh, asset markets, different workflow, there's an e-commerce involved. It's all meant to develop this creator economy. Then whatever you develop needs to be visible, need to be discovered by people. Uh, nowadays, where do people discover things? They discover things on Facebook, on Google, on Twitter, and various social media, and LinkedIn, same way, right? And ads, of course, when you say Google, I mean the ads, same way for XR, VR, that is a discovery uh, layer that people need to have. And finally, whatever you do, it's all about the experience. If you have a better experience, people will come in. If you have a bad experience, people will not come in. So creating that experience, whether it is a game or retail or a live event or a industrial, that's very, very important. And that's what we're going to teach in AR, VR using the gaming engine, using the other uh, uh, um, uh, tools, how can we create very good experiences? So these are the different layers, the seven layers of metaverse, and we are a lot more interested in the bottom two, which is your infrastructure, the human interface, then we'll jump to spatial computing, then we will do straight the experience. We'll talk about all things, but our development time, our uh, time will be spent on ex building experiences using the 3D engines for VR, AVR, but at the same time also understanding a bit of uh, human interfaces uh, using mobiles and also using the uh, 5G. Yeah. I think we already talked about this, right? Um, workflow, guys. So workflow, if you look at it, right? Uh, we went through it. I already talked about there's a Unity, there's a Blender, there's a Euphoria, there are other uh, different tools all in the market. And there's going to be a video of all those content in the LMS. So please, guys, go to the LMS and see the video, how to go about installing Unity, how to go about uh, you know installing and using uh, this. And tomorrow's class, the next two-day class is going to be focusing primarily on the tool called Blender, which is a 3D tool. So we're going to spend two days. So once again, tomorrow class and the day after class, Tuesday and Wednesday, we will not have a live sessions like this. As per the TNDC, they want us to provide a video on the non modern one platform. We'll keep one hour class. I think uh, Asha can communicate with you later on. I think between uh, 10.30 to 11.30 or between uh, 11 and 12, we'll have one hour session where we will... Uh, talk about a bit of blender mainly to for interactivity mainly for pe people to ask questions if, if they might have right so tomorrow that's how we're going to spend we're not going to have a live class like today because they are very 
detail oriented step by step instructions how to how about uh, uh, you know installing blender how to use the various tools if a teach we get bored so hence we are giving a video where you could watch multiple times right so guys please log into the normodon platform spark please spend time to resolve any issues in terms of the uh, course registration with the non modern one team make sure the students all have access to the video starting tomorrow so this is the overall development pipeline right if you look at it there is a ideation that gets created that's your requirement understanding the requirement doing the uh, just like a movie screenplay storyboarding just like a movie we have right we do the same thing then the design gets a uh, 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 developed uh, in this case using blender where we build 3d assets we apply textures we apply uh, 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 we apply the uh, the the whole rigging everything happens in the blender then once that is done it gets pushed to the unity for development where we do the various asset integration we do the interaction we do the lighting and we also do the level designs uh, depending on what level does it design we all those happens in unity and and we also use a bit of an animation that comes from uh the blender and a bit of simple asset animation using uh unity all those comes in then we could do the target building uh either on a ar we do it is a euphoria or ar kit or a ar core or it can be used on the oculus uh quest uh, implementation then there's a bit of uh, you know uh voice uh and background music that can be done all those gets through the whole process as a development pipeline then we have the actual delivery so this is what we're going to teach you as i said uh tomorrow we're going to teach blender tomorrow and day after we'll teach ideation blender tomorrow and day after the unity uh will be taught on thursday and friday along with ar euphoria the vr part since you need access to the vr device will be taught in a one week uh, workshop that will be there physically and of course we'll do a refresh of all those things that we teach online also when we meet face to face yes that's all i have for the class today any questions guys any questions that you might have um any questions i'm going to stop here and ask for questions and i'm going to also stop the recording recording stopped so time is 3:30 so we spent 2 hours uh in the afternoon and we spent an hour so almost 4 hours of content was delivered today any questions guys i have come to the end of presentation today and uh moving forward uh what we need to do is please access the video in the engage lms that you could log in from nanmodern platform this number 1 then tomorrow you will have the videos all up uh, before 10:30 in the morning so that you have access to the videos on blender for uh tomorrow please sparks please faculty ensure the students are logging in without logging in they will not get credit they will not get enrollment any questions i'm going to go through the chat and see if there's any questions sir 330 is gone thank you sir i think i was very happy that i finished the class what is saying break no breaks are all done need 10 minutes break sorry the, cl the class is over so that is your break okay all right guys uh, any question so no more live classes i think moving forward is going to be um uh, it's going to be uh, video watching and for the next 3 days and there will be one hour live session uh say 11 to 12 where you could come and ask questions we'll open things for you uh yeah it should be install unity today absolutely yeah so see the video yes guys go see the video that's posted we're given step by step instructions to how to install unity please do that
எல்லாருக்கும் நன்றி thank you very much you all have a uh, good day i'm hoping i'm hoping that it was useful class i hope uh, you guys had a good time learning about this thing and uh, i thank you very much for your time from the bottom of my heart ellarkum nandri ellarkum vanakkam deepavali varudhu adutha varam so be uh, safe seringla hmm? thank you i am i hope it was useful useful andudana yes useful nu solunga just put it there Uh, in the comment saying that it was useful illa useful illa sumara and the sir abdin potina no adhum potrunga i am uh, i am a big boy i can i can uh, deal with criticism yara uh, yes no no okay no 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 okay seringla i am looking forward to see you all pai and again now at least over 10 15% 10 to 15% i want to make sure unga college student should become an expert in arbr no i said So, so C sharp. We're going to use a C sharp uh, for Unity. Cheering lah. So that is the language you will need. Hmm. So, how can we connect you personally, sir? And the WhatsApp group, you can put in lah. Allah poorunga. Allah poorting nalle. It. I. I. I'm in the WhatsApp group. I'm not sure who joined. Whether it's a student, na koro. You could guys can connect with me. Uh, we are open for internships. We are open for job opportunities. Yes, this PPT will be shared along with the video recording. The entire video recording of the class will be shared not in WhatsApp group. It will be shared on the Engage LMS platform that you could see it any time. Even people who are not logged in today for whatever reason will be having access to the video. Once again, hello, welcome. Thank you, Nandri. We take a ponga, safe up ponga, enjoy ponga life. Guys, I'm going to log off. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. First, I'm going to stop sharing. Then I'm going to end. Okay. Thank you very much, all. I am logging off.